Across the vast, sprawling plains of East Africa, a spectacle unfolds that has captivated the hearts and imaginations of humankind for centuries. It is a journey of epic proportions, a testament to the enduring power and resilience of nature, a symphony of life and death played out on a grand stage. The Great Migration, one of the most awe-inspiring natural events on our planet. Millions upon millions of animals move as one, driven by an ancient instinct to seek out greener pastures and ensure their survival. The migration is a breathtaking sight to behold, a swirling mass of wildebeest, zebras, and gazelles stretching as far as the eye can see, creating a living tapestry of movement and life. The ground trembles beneath their hooves, a thunderous drumbeat that echoes across the savanna, resonating with the primal rhythms of the earth. It is a reminder of the raw beauty and untamed spirit of the wild, a glimpse into a world untouched by the hand of man, where nature reigns supreme. The migration is a journey fraught with danger, a test of endurance that pushes these animals to their very limits, challenging their strength and will to survive. Yet year after year, they return, drawn by an invisible force that compels them to undertake this extraordinary pilgrimage, a journey etched into their very being. It is a story of survival, of the delicate balance between predator and prey, where every step can mean the difference between life and death. It is also a story of the intricate web of life that connects all creatures great and small, a testament to the interconnectedness of the natural world. It is a story that has been told and retold for generations, passed down through the ages, becoming a part of the cultural fabric of the region. A timeless tale that continues to inspire awe and wonder in all who witness it, reminding us of the enduring power and beauty of nature's grand design. Our journey begins in the heart of Tanzania, in the legendary Serengeti National Park, a vast expanse of grasslands, woodlands, and rivers teeming with life. This iconic landscape is home to one of the most spectacular wildlife events on Earth. It is here in the southern Serengeti that the migration truly begins, as the herds gather in their millions, their numbers swelling with each passing day. This annual pilgrimage is a testament to the resilience and instinct of these magnificent creatures. The dry season has taken hold, and the once lush grasslands have withered and turned brown. The harsh conditions test the endurance of every living being in this vast ecosystem. The animals are restless, their instincts telling them it is time to move on, to seek out the life-giving rains that will sustain them. The promise of water and fresh grazing lands drives them forward. And so, as if guided by an unseen hand, they begin to move, a slow but steady tide of animals flowing across the plains. This grand procession is a sight to behold, a natural wonder in motion. The wildebeest, with their distinctive humped shoulders and shaggy coats, are the most numerous, their deep, resonant calls filling the air. Their journey is fraught with danger, but their determination is unwavering. Alongside them are the zebras, their bold black and white stripes a stark contrast against the golden grasslands. These striking animals add to the visual splendor of the migration. And then there are the gazelles, smaller and more agile, darting through the herds with effortless grace. Their speed and agility are crucial for survival in this challenging environment. Together, they form a tapestry of life, a vibrant mosaic that stretches across the landscape. This incredible journey is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Serengeti's inhabitants. The migration is a sensory overload, a cacophony of sound and movement that is both exhilarating and overwhelming. The air is thick with the smell of dust and animal musk, a pungent aroma that speaks of the wild. The ground vibrates with the thunder of hooves, a relentless rhythm that sets the heart racing. The wildebeest are the true nomads of the Serengeti, their lives dictated by the rains. They are constantly on the move, their journey a continuous loop in search of fresh grazing lands. The zebras too are key players in this great migration, their grazing habits complementing those of the wildebeest, ensuring that the grasslands are not overgrazed. The sheer number of animals is staggering, a seemingly endless river of life flowing across the plains. It is a testament to the resilience of nature, to the power of adaptation and survival. But the migration is not without its perils. The journey these animals undertake is fraught with danger at every turn. The journey is long and arduous, and the animals face numerous challenges along the way. From treacherous mud pits that can trap the unwary to the rough, uneven terrain that tests their endurance, 
predators lurk in the shadows, their senses heightened, their hunger a constant companion. Every rustle in the grass could mean life or death. Lions with their powerful limbs and razor-sharp claws are the apex predators of the savanna, and they view the migration as a time of plenty. For them, it is a feast, a chance to hunt with abandon. Crocodiles lie in wait in the murky waters of the rivers, their cold reptilian eyes fixed on the approaching herds. They are patient hunters, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. The crossing of the Mara River is a particularly perilous undertaking, a desperate scramble for survival as the animals attempt to outmaneuver the snapping jaws of death. Each leap is a gamble, a test of their agility and luck. And then there are the smaller predators, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas, all vying for their share of the spoils. Each has its own strategy, its own way of hunting and surviving. The migration is a constant battle for survival, a reminder that death is an ever-present reality in the wild. Every step is a struggle, every moment a fight to stay alive, and yet amidst the danger there is also beauty, a raw and untamed beauty that is both captivating and humbling. The savanna, with its vast landscapes and diverse wildlife, is a testament to the resilience and tenacity of life. Section 5. The Language of Survival The sounds of the migration are as much a part of the experience as the sights. The air is alive with the constant chatter of the wildebeest, their deep, guttural calls a form of communication that helps them maintain contact with each other amidst the chaos. The zebras too have their own unique vocalizations, their high-pitched barks and snorts serving as warning signals and social cues. These sounds are not merely random noises, they are a complex language that the animals use to communicate with each other, to warn of danger, to attract mates, to maintain social cohesion. The ability to interpret these sounds is crucial for their survival, allowing them to navigate the challenges of the migration and avoid becoming prey. Section 6. Predators on the Horizon The predators too rely on sound to locate their prey. Lions with their keen hearing can detect the movement of herds from miles away. Their deep rumbling roars send shivers down the spines of their prey, a primal sound that speaks of danger. Hyenas with their eerie whoops and cackles are the scavengers of the savanna, often following in the wake of the lions, hoping to scavenge a meal. Their calls are a haunting reminder of the constant cycle of life and death that plays out on these vast plains. Section 7. A Symphony of Nature The sounds of the migration are a symphony of nature, a chorus of life and death that echoes across the savanna. It is a reminder that we are but one part of a much larger ecosystem, a complex web of interconnected species all vying for survival. The migration is a testament to the enduring power of nature, to the ability of life to adapt and thrive even in the harshest of environments. It is a spectacle that has been unfolding for millennia, a timeless dance between predator and prey, a reminder that we are but temporary custodians of this planet. As the migration progresses, the herds eventually reach the northern Serengeti, where they face their most daunting challenge yet, the crossing of the Mara River. The Mara River forms a natural border between Tanzania and Kenya, and it is here that the animals must brave the treacherous currents and the lurking crocodiles in order to reach the lush grasslands of the Maasai Mara National Reserve. The crossing is a chaotic and perilous affair, a desperate scramble for survival as the animals surge towards the riverbank, their hooves pounding the earth. The crocodiles sense their opportunity and move into position, their powerful tails propelling them through the water with deadly speed. The air is thick with tension and the smell of fear as the first wildebeest take the plunge, their bodies disappearing beneath the swirling water. Some make it across, their coats glistening as they emerge on the opposite bank, shaking themselves free from the grip of the river. Others are not so fortunate, their bodies swept away by the current or dragged beneath the surface by the jaws of a crocodile. The crossing is a stark reminder of the fragility of life, of the delicate balance between predator and prey, of the circle of life that connects all creatures great and small. And so, the migration continues, a testament to the enduring power of nature, a reminder that even in a world that is increasingly dominated by humankind, there are still places where the wild things roam free. The animals will spend the next few months grazing on the lush grasslands of the Maasai Mara, regaining their strength after their arduous journey. 
The cycle will then begin again, driven by the ancient rhythms of nature, a timeless dance between life and death, a spectacle that has captivated the hearts of humankind for centuries. The Great Migration is a precious legacy, a reminder of the incredible biodiversity that exists on our planet and the importance of protecting it for future generations. It is a call to action, urging us to safeguard these wild spaces and the creatures that inhabit them. For in the end, we are all connected to the natural world, and its fate is inextricably linked to our own. The survival of the Great Migration, and indeed of all life on Earth, depends on our ability to live in harmony with nature to respect the delicate balance of life, and to ensure that future generations will have the opportunity to witness the awe-inspiring spectacle of the Great Migration. Thank you for watching our stories. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And 